Hello there everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Senran Kagura Estival Versus. Last time we beat Ikaru's story, which was like a crazy thing with Power Ranger costumes, and I actually loved it super much, and this time we're heading into Katsuragi's story, Marshmallow Butt, where I have to defeat Ryobi because she's tired of boobs. What am I supposed to do? Well, judging by the title, I think we know. But I think there's going to be some revelatons about uh, what what is truly important in the life versus home downtown, hometown rather, debate. And that is life is the way to go. I agree with Katsuragi. You know, it's like sometimes you want to go a bit of hometown, but nah, you can always come back to life. Life is beautiful. Let's hop in and get started. And of course, I've made her a costume, which I'm just trying to get through, you know, because we have all the different types of costumes that we have, like, sets of, so I'm going to try to make the sets for everyone, so we'll see them all in the end. What a, what a, what a terrible timeline we've fallen in. Really. That's like, at that point, life is, yeah, we're like rice to me and side dishes. True. That's how it is for me. That's how it is for all of us. You fiend, what are you talking about? Uh, so then, then you have the bread and you're like, you know, nah, rice was still better. Well, I mean, life is the reason to live, of course. That's- that's me. That's what I feel. Very much so. Don't go over to the dark side, my friend. I don't know. I don't know about that. Very much, uh... Very much a believer in life, you know. Not so much of a hometown. You'd have to convince me pretty hardly go to be a hometown person, but maybe, maybe this story will, will convince me. Let's see. Also a little bit above the nose. Not much, but a bit. Alrighty, let's get started with the first uh, first battle versus Rank or no Ryobi. Why did I think Renka? Versus Ryobi on the roof. So basically, what I thought for making this costume was, what if we made like you know how Ayame was kind of was the fangirl of um, Katsuragi. What if it was the other way around? Insane, I know, but we'll have to see. If it looks good. So we actually haven't played much as Katsuragi, come to think of it. Like, she wasn't a character who got much got much loving in this story mode, which is fine, because she'll get it now, of course. Um, she was only level 6 when we got her, so... We'll get that soon enough. I do enjoy her her kicking style in this game. It's a lot of fun. She doesn't have the cool alt mode like she does in Senran Kagura 2, but that's fine. I'm sure that'll be brought in with uh, the next PlayStation Senran Kagura game, which will happen uh, probably after Valkyrie Drive comes out here, which I am utterly amazed is, considering the subject matter is way tougher. I mean... The Senran Kagura anime, you know, is is whatever, it's schlock, but it's it's not anything. But you have to go onto dark websites to watch the stuff for, for, for Valkyrie Drive, because whoa, that that stuff goes way, way deeper. Um Oh, 
Can't stop, won't stop. That's you know, that's that's the proper. All right, let's transform into our alt outfit, which, again, kind of just stemmed from me saying I have some some archetypes I have to go through, and one very popular, very awesome one is of course the bunny girl. I just like the bunny girl look with Katsuragi's sort of curled hair. I think it looks great. And plus, the idea of this bunny girl having, like, crazy kick powers is absolutely wonderful. So, so let's try and get up. Also, we are dying. So, yeah, you, you do get charge moves with Katsuragi, so you can, do, you can do the holds if you want. You don't have to, but it, it's there. I want to try and perfect guard these. There we go. Get them parries in. I don't think we've seen frantic for her either, so we'll we'll definitely have to give that give give that look in a sec. First off, the level two. I love the mixer attack; it's great. Perfect. That's what we wanted. Those are some physics. I did pick a good outfit for this then. <laughs> Uh, that looks great. Oh, you can't see the bunny ears, but that's fine. That's fine. People will will infer. They'll read between the lines, you know. So, so we definitely want to keep leveling up because we want to try and get to see her uh, her ultimate, which I don't know what it is in this game. So that'd be good good to find out. Also, between parts, I like spent all my money on kind of everything that I could, uh, buying all the music. I didn't get into the videos yet, or pictures, I'm just going through the music because, you know, those have the cool, cool uh, things where they tell you about what went into them, and I actually really appreciate that. Pot Belly, I know we're going to be touching in this one. That sounds really, really creepy to say, actually. Okay, so, I know it's edgy, but I love the red and black, it's so good. So this mission is, um, okay, who knew this, okay. That also wouldn't pass by in, you know, the court of law. You just stay there looking beautiful, darling. That was really creepy. I'm sorry for saying that. That that sounded better in my in my head because the whole Twitter joke that that Yozakura is my actual wife, and that whenever people post, I, I I jokingly say she's my wife. But then I guess not all of you follow me on Twitter, so I can't really say that. Um, should we should we try out the frantic mode for her in this one? I think I think we will. She also has a good um dash attack. So it's kind of like a, a quick just. Kind of a roundhouse? I don't know. I don't know if, if you'd call that a roundhouse kick because it's like I'm not up on my knowledge of a ta Well, I mean, I know what a roundhouse kick would it be? What would that be called? I guess it's more of a Tatsumaki than a roundhouse. Cause no, a, ra a roundhouse has a, has a very specific motion. That's just a, a, a Tatsumaki. She also kind of has Chun-Li's lightning kicks, but really not as uh, not as fast or cool. So may maybe in the EX version we'll get a, um, not the EX, the transform version, it'll actually be more like, you know, her, her lightning legs. Kind of just like going crazy and stuff. I love that move though, the, the lightning legs. It's it's incredible because it's one of those like fighting game only things that you, no one can do in real life. And then when someone like does something similar in real life, you're actually amazed. I know there's one Chun-Li cosplayer who is able to like do... Do at least something kind of similar to the lightning legs, and it was incredible, like, seeing it in, not in real life, but, on, like, in, in video form. Because it's just something that, you know, you look at it and you're like, oh, that doesn't seem too hard, and then, and you, you know, 
No, I'm not saying you try it, but then you like think about it and you're like, no, it, it actually is like really difficult to do. There you go, that should be it. Oh, I still love that design. It just looks so good with her. I'm actually going to transform just right away. There we go. Wow, that's some damage. Oh, this is my favorite form of her by far. Holy crap. Wow, that was really easy and super fun. I almost have to go slower here to make sure I don't kill her too fast. Oh god, I missed it because I went too fast. Oh well, at least we got this camera angle. Um, it's weird because they're always talking about Yegu's pot belly, but you cannot see it in game. Like that is is that? I don't think so. Um, and even in art, you really can't. It's like it's it's such a weird, such a weird detail that isn't a detail, kind of. Like, I don't know, maybe in some art it's there, but it's... I know in one of the animated OVAs it's there. But that's just like, it's it's exclusive to that, and even still not even that prominent. Oh well. So, okay. Frantic form for Katsuragi? Really, really good. I almost want to start off right away to just be that for the group part. Okay, so uh, one thing I want to do is I want to kill this guy right away, actually, and then I want to try and get the the exclusive animation for losing well on the robot because that is something that uh, I haven't got yet and I want to get before you know before we're we're out of here and you know it's it's it'd be easiest to get here okay so let's hop on and get it to blow up actually I'm gonna get it beat up a bit so that it uh, specifically I make sure is to kill me because I know that's a thing I need to get look Look at these, look at these Moku Jins who are so weak, they don't even make me flinch. That's incredible. Yeah, no, I still still think I need to be a bit, bit closer to dying, just to be sure. Just a bit, not too much. Come on. Come on, dudes, you can do this. Oh, well, that's bad. That's bad. That's really bad. There we go. Okay, so let's put it down. Let's hop in, and let's attack till we're near dead. Oh, we got the Wolverine model. That's the best model. What's its uh, R1? Oh, just Vulcan cannons. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm not I'm gonna let these guys live. Wait for it to nearly explode, so that we can get this, and then we'll proceed like normal. Let you see if they hit it a bit. Will they hit it even? There we go. Okay, let's see this. Aw, that's adorable. Good to know that that's that. Well, we got that. So let's... Uh, wow, they're peeking out of the water. Let's try that again. 
this time. Well, now we get to see what it's like when you lose, because we haven't seen that yet. So that's that's actually, you know, kind of good. Did we unlock it? Yeah, we did. There we go. Would you like to save? Why not? I have no shame. Um, and more importantly, it was caught on video showing that I did it on purpose. Because I'm sure that might be one of those things that if you get, it might be regarded as a a booby prize, for lack of a better term. You know, showing that you did something that was, uh, you know, you, you got a prize for doing something dumb. I mean, like, that's sort of like how in God of War there's a trophy for making up for dying. And uh, I never got that one in my playthrough, which is hilarious. This dude does hit hard, though. So let's actually... Do this right now. That's cool, I can dig that. So let's kill these dudes. Whoops, I didn't mean to, to pop it down for me, but I'll take it, I guess. We got the flamethrower one. I did like the Wolverine one quite a bit, but that's okay. Are we gonna start with it on our boss? I don't even remember if we do. We do. What? I am too powerful now. I need to find out the story for that one, but okay. Oh well. I think that's fine. We, we pretty much know what's gonna happen. You're snuggling too tightly, and now don't do it. Let's fight. There we go. That's fine. I already redid this mission once, so I won't do it again. If you want to find out the exact details of the story, buy the game and play it yourself. Support the creators you enjoy. That's my... That's my goodwill message for this Let's Play. Um, so, I'm not going to fight so quickly that I that I, that I I beat the bosses instantly. I didn't think it'd be that powerful. Like, this, that form is broken. I'd almost say. Like, maybe not DLC character broken, because I've seen how broken those DLC characters get. But broken nonetheless. Necks, pits... And navel. Oh, we're getting into the weird stuff. The stuff I don't necessarily agree with at this point. So, uh, I've mastered the female body. I don't know. Okay. All right, let's do this for all parts of the body that you look at in the tags of Jelbaru. Don't lie. I don't know. I don't know about those, 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 those tags, my friends. I mean, that, that. Hey, if that's if that's your brand of justice, you live by it. I, I live a very vanilla lifestyle, so that's fine. I am, I am really starting to like how she fights, though. Uh, even in this form, which is admittedly probably her weakest form, it's pretty fun with how you can do all the cancels and stuff into flips and kicks and all the great stuff. So what are we at for her moves though? We are just missing her her last hold technique. Or last rather cancel heavy. I don't know what to call them man. They all have different names in different games. It's like some of them call them like heavy cancels and stuff. I don't know man. Don't ask me. Okay, so we're 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 gonna now go into lock on mode just to get rid of the stragglers just for the sake of making it easier. I know people have told me don't do it in, in uh, fighting the mobs because it makes it harder, but I don't know, man. 
it does make it a bit easier to just get rid of the stragglers. Then again, why am I listening to how people telling me to play the game when I could just play it myself? Like, like you know, how, how most people are. Heck, I've played through games entirely wrong. Try playing Harvest Moon without making a single harvest. I did that as a kid. Boy, that's difficult and annoying. Straight up as a kid, I was too, like, too, not really afraid, but just not into the responsibility of making sure any animals or cattle were staying, or food was, was staying fresh in, in, in um, Harvest Moon, that I literally played almost the entirety of the game by just sort of farming for other stuff. You know, like, like, rocks and flowers. Aw, she's gonna be so good when she transforms. Let's do this. That's incredibly creepy. I mean, in, in, in her actual default costume here, you cannot see it, so it's like, it's actually pretty funny. Even, like, because I haven't changed to Kage's, so that's, that's actually pretty hilarious. Why is Mission Start still there? Also, I can't wait to actually see this in motion as an enemy, it looks so good! Oh my god, yes. Oh, it's so weird to just see Satsuki in the crowd, you know? Mission Start is still there for some strange reason. Did I glitch it somehow? Or no, it's, it's gone now. I wonder how her costume will look out of her, uh, with her, will her mask be on her mask? I don't know. Uh, yeah, it kind of looks a bit weird. That's fine. I guess for this one, because even though we made her the costume without the mask, we put it on just because she has it on for this story section, you know, so that's, that's a, that's a thing I couldn't choose to put on or, or leave off. Alright, so we do have a level 5 though, so let's give it a shot here, after we get it, and then... I'm getting beeps on my phone and I don't know what they're for. Okay, let's, let's pop it right here. Dead Screw Dragon? I, I, can, I can live by that brand of justice. That's such a good, such a good phrase. Now you can see her navel. Couldn't see it before. So let's let's actually start locking on. Lock on to Satsuki here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't get hit by that. Okay, let's see if we can air combo them. Well, her air combo's a bit weird. Whoa, 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 we're bouncing all over each other. Oh, run. Uh-oh, there goes our close. But it's okay, because we'll bring it back by cancelling with our own super. I don't even know who we're hitting at this point. No one. God, everyone's just using their supers like it's nothing. Okay, we got one. That is not far off from the cannon of Kill a Kill, of course. I'm gonna try Dead Screw Dragon on them again because it, it's it now now that they're they're together and stuff, it, it should be better. Ow! 
Here we go. Get them both. Or one. That's fine. Didn't even break her clothes, which is actually kind of sad, considering her ultimate is not as good as her uh, level 2, it seems. Her level 2 seems to be her best one. I missed entirely. There we go. Oh, but it actually looks kind of cool ripped. Kind of, not fully. Oh, that's cool. The mask comes off and she has another mask underneath. It's almost like all her problems are solved. Hmm, should I use this one for the thumbnail? Nah, I think I think I have a better chance with the first one, actually. Alrighty. B is fine by me. We got our ultimate move and a new move also. I think we're close to having her full move set at this point. Uh, we're also one level away from being done her story. Which is, uh... That's a thing. I mean, that's that's what then it'd be the end of this video, which you kind of expect. So, silky back. We have to defeat Kafuru. Oh, what is this like new rock song that I don't think I've heard yet? Whoa, this is actually not doing too good. These enemies are actually giving me a slight bit of a hard time. I'm, I'm gonna save my meter though for, for making sure I don't die, of course. Yeah, no, her, her breach art is actually super good for getting through the crowds, because it does take a hit, it seems, and then launches, which is always welcome, and ends with that great sl She is probably the best uh, slam attack, because it's like, it feels like it has a much bigger radius than any of the others. I, it could be a universal thing, and just, just the look of her slamming down with her giant hoof feet, but I, you know, it could also be a real thing. Who knows? I'm sure people have not never looked at the frame data for this game. I'm sure it's one of those things that no one's ever even thought about, you know? Okay, so let's 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 start with the lock on tech. Are we gonna go down for the fight or is it gonna stay up in here? Cause cause whoa! Whoa, Nelly! You know what? I think it's time for a little mixing fun. There we go. Yeah, get them hits in. Let's see how many can I get with cross or cross dragon, whatever, dead screw dragon or whatever. Wow, that hit no one in the end. Great. Let's turn off the, uh, the lock on here. Yeah, no, for big crowds, the lock on doesn't make much sense. I would play as the, uh, the, the super amazing frantic mode again, but there's the problem of it's too good and I wouldn't get much done. Uh, so that's, that's fine. Here comes another level up, I bet. Yep. It seems like those huge multi-hit attacks is the way to sort of level up, and, and if you have a character with, a, with one that hits a lot, you can get multiple easily in one level. You gotta find a level with many enemies, and then use use your your tech on it. You know. Oh, there's a lot here actually. See how many I can get through air combos alone. Oh wow, that air combo landed into a uh, actual ground combo. That's I don't think I've done that yet, where it just transitioned. How, how are we for a tech? Well, we got all of it it seems. Try and get them all into here. At least as many as we can. So I guess the one problem with that is this one you can't move at all in. Like, you can't reposition yourself, which, you know, would be nice if you could sort of aim it around a bit. You know, sort of sort of be like Tails from Sonic Adventure. I'm sure Tails from Sonic Adventure was always planned to sort of be connected to this franchise, of course. So let's 
try and get them all. Hmm. Her, her, it seems like her, her, her aerial rave is a bit tougher to sort of land that connector hit on. Because, I mean, mind you, you know what it is? It's her attack is green to begin with. So, you, wait, trying to find that green flash is tougher because it's tough to find the green within the green, you know? That's interesting. I mean, that's not an intended thing, but it's a thing nonetheless. Okay, come on. Get over here. Done. Look at that hit counter I got. Oh my god. Amazing. Okay, so let's try and, uh... Kill her. Right here. Let's do this. Will this work? That was awesome! I'm ha- Okay, so if you have a wide space to work with, that attack totally works. I think that's the end. Yep, here we go. I want that on a business card for me. The first one, not not the perfect connoisseur, the one above that. That's actually a really touching message. And I know what she's gonna wrap it back around to, but I fully agree. Do your best, do your best, do it every day. What is that, Katsuragi? True words have never been spoken. Ever. Amazing. That was... You know what? That went a better place than I expected. I thought it would just be her switching her where where she is. But no. The truth is she sticked to loving what she loved, but learned to appreciate everything around that. And that I can live with. That's a good end in my opinion. So that... That was Katsuragi's story. And I guess it's a little, a little late to, to ask this question. Also, those were insane levels. I think... I'm 90% sure Katsuragi's a lesbian. <laughs> I mean... It never occurred to me until that ending where I thought to myself, You know, 
I think she might be at least bisexual, whatever she is. Uh, no, that's actually interesting. I that never ever occurred to me, but no, it's 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 it, it's canon. So. Thank you all for watching, dudes, and next time we'll be going on to either Hibari or Yagyu. I don't know who it is, actually. Let's go take a look. It is gonna be Yagyu. I have no idea what I'm gonna do for her costume. That's gonna be fun to find out. See you next time, dudes. Ciao.